My name is Daryl Richardson, and I want to welcome you to Behind the Stars, the untold stories of Black industry dancers. a sneak peek back from where it all began, Blacks on Broadway. In 1895, Burt Williams and George Walker would team up to be a black minstrel comic act. In 1903, Williams and Walker were starring in In Dahomey on Broadway. It was the first all-black musical comedy to play in a major Broadway theater. In 1909, Florence Ziegfeld invited Williams to be a headliner in his Ziegfeld Follies that began to run in 1910, making him the first black to perform on Broadway as an equal alongside whites. Although he formed close relationships with such co-stars as W.C. Fields and Will Rogers, Williams was still forced to stay home when the other Follies performers traveled across the segregated South. In 1921, we had Shuffle Along with U.B. Blake and Noble Sissel. They were the first African Americans to forego blackface and adopted a sophisticated style of dress and class. Shuffle Along was a huge hit and ran for 504 performances. Look at these dolls. Are they fabulous? Surely we have to take a moment to highlight them. In 1919, Baker toured with an all-girl dance group called the Dixie Steppers. In the 1920s, the Harlem Renaissance emerges as an intellectual and cultural revival of African-American music, dance, art, fashion, literature, theater, and politics. In 1924, Cicel and Blake created the Chocolate Dandies. 1935, Porgy and Bess. 1942, Othello with Paul Robeson. 1943, All God's Chillin' Got Wings, which Robeson performed in. 1959, Lorraine Hansberry, A Raisin in the Sun. And in 1968, Golden Boy with Sammy Davis Jr., featuring Lola Falana. The 70s blew us away with Curly, The Me Nobody Knows, Ain't Supposed to Die a Natural Death, don't bother me, I can't cope. The Wiz, your arms too short to box with God. Tremonisha, the revival of Guys and Dolls, Bubble and Brown Sugar, Yubi, Ain't Misbehavin', Timbuktu, and Daddy Goodness in 1979. As early as the 19th century, Broadway was known as the Great White Way. It is written and said that it's known because of its lights. Bernard Marsh, a dear friend who has gone on, dancer, singer actor wrote a book entitled The Great White Way. Bernard Marsh was the recipient of the Adelco Pioneer Award. He was an advocate for union rights, for artists. He received a citation for his outstanding work and dedication. He appeared in Big Deal, Yubi, Malcolm X, The Cotton Club, and had a theater company, although he is no longer here. His book still remains with us. Check out his book on Amazon, The Great White Way, Great White Lies, A Lie Can't Live Forever. Bernard's passion for theater was equaled only by his desire to pursue justice and diversity in the business called show. Bravo, Bernard. Stay tuned for more untold stories.